Hello guys, this is Blojos, and today I will be giving you an action figure review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Battle Shell figures. These are available exclusive, exclusively at Toys R Us. I can't talk here today. And uh, are 11.5 inches tall. So, uh, before um, I'm, today I'm going to be just reviewing Leonardo and Donatello, but hopefully in the future I will be reviewing Michelangelo as well as Raphael. I do have Raphael coming in the mail. So, Anyway, uh, with that said, let's get into this review. Uh, really quick on the packaging here. Um, when you find these at Toys R Us, you'll find them in this open window box and you'll see the figure very predominantly displayed. Uh, this just so happens to be Leonardo's box because they threw out Donatello's. But um, pretty, pretty cool display. You can kind of play with the figure a bit, move him around. Um, you can see what you're getting, you can check for the paint and whatnot, and yeah, cool box. It's got the little graphic of the turtles down there, uh, how to open the shell and put the weapons inside. I'll just zoom in there. Shell pops open for storage. And yeah, pretty cool design. It says the same thing on the side of the box here. And on the back, you can see the four turtles. So there's Leo and Don obviously who I'm reviewing today and uh, these are the prototype pictures so the weapons aren't actually painted but uh, on the full size figures they are painted so pretty neat little feature and the weapons with chains like the one in Donatello's shell as well as uh, Mikey's nunchucka do have actual plastic chains in between the uh, the, the pieces so uh, here's the write-up. I'm not going to bother reading it. I'm just going to zoom in and let you guys read it. And uh, yeah, there's the box. Let's get into the figures. Just got to grab them here. They're so big I had to set them behind me. Here's Donnie. And here's Leo. Now, uh, first thing I'm going to mention about these guys right off the bat is that they are fairly heavy. They're uh, solid PVC, um, except for the back of their shells, obviously, because you need to store their weapons in there. But um, really cool figures. Um, number one, I always like to talk about paint first. And first, I'm going to talk about the good. Um, there's not a lot here, so there's not a lot that could have been messed up. Uh, all the colors, whatever is supposed to be colored, is colored um, nicely. Uh, the only problem is, is uh, there's a lot of fuzzy lines and a lot of slop. Like as you can see on uh, Leo's hand bands there, and especially on the feet, I find. There's some just... Um, not very well painted lines and things are over painted and not painted enough but either way the sculpts on these figures are really good um, the weapons are painted like I stated earlier I'll show kinda side of Leo's uh, katana there but uh, another thing that I think is kind of odd is that well not odd just kind of um, funny decision is the fact that the eyes are painted in on these figures. Now I can see why they would do it because these are meant for kids and I could see big white eyes on these turtles being kind of freaky but uh, I'm just gonna move in the smaller turtles so you can kinda see a size difference here as well but uh, on the smaller turtles the pupils aren't painted which is probably the one that kids are gonna end up with anyways. These um, Battle Shell Turtles are going to run about uh, $24.99 at Toys R Us. So I can see a lot of parents settling much quicker on the uh, $8.99 Turtles over the 11-inch Turtles, right? But um, anyway, that set aside, I'll just uh, move these guys away. Um, so for paintwork, I'm going to give them 6.5 out of 10, just because of all the fuzzy lines and the eyes do look kind of funny painted in. Um, next up is articulation, which uh, is almost the same as the smaller counterparts. Now, um, I mean, that includes the ball-jointed head, which is a true ball joint. I've actually popped off Leo's head 
and uh, seen. It's actually just a ball and the head is hollow for it to sit on. Um, they've got uh, swivel hinge, no, swivel, yeah, swivel hinge shoulders. Uh, no bicep swivel, just like the little guys. Uh, there's a wrist swivel, if I can get it to move here. It's hard to do this while holding the camera, but there's a swivel hinge. No, what is this called? It's not ball and socket. Maybe it is swivel hinge. Yeah, it's swivel hinge. Swivel hinge uh, waist and also swivel hinge knees. Now, uh, the only point of articulation that's missing, um, which was included on the smaller figures, is the elbow uh, swivel hinge. Now, it would have been nice to see that on these big figures, but I can see why they did that to cut costs, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it just uh, leaves me wishing that instead of sculpting, well, instead of giving them the new cartoon feet, I kind of wish that they would have gone with the... Uh, the swivel shoulders, or swivel elbows, sorry, because as it stands, Donatello can't hold his bow with two hands, and uh, that's about as dynamic a pose as you can get Leo in. Now, um, <clears throat> for articulation, I'm going to give them, again, 6.5 out of 10, just because it would have been nice to see that elbow, and uh, no, you know what, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10, because it is good articulation. What's there does work and is very tight for being figures this heavy. Uh, the arms do stay up when you pose them, and it's, it's solid value. Now for their uh, cool little action feature here, their little gimmick, I'll flip uh, Leo around here. Um, all you do is you grab the left side of the shell. Here, I'm just going to set down the camera the back just hinges open and it is a very nice and tight close and their extra arsenal of weapons fits in the back here so uh, Leo gets his uh, two throwing da no sorry throwing dagger and uh, I'm not even sure what that is maybe that is a throwing dagger but uh, he also gets two shuriken and uh, yeah like I said this shell gimmick like it, it hinges very nice and tight oh. This bandana's getting in the way here. And the shell closes and stays closed. So, very cool little action figure feature. Um, it bumps up the value here, because I mean that means every single turtle comes with a nice little arsenal of weapons. And I'll open up Donnie's as well so you guys can see. Uh, he's got this extra bow with the chain links in between and two shuriken I guess well <clears throat> so uh, cool little feature I'm gonna give that um, I'll say 9 out of 10 because it works very smoothly all the weapons fit in the back and uh, if you so chose to have them not holding their weapons they still do have their sheaths for their uh, corresponding weapons so for our value here um, at $24.99 it is a bit steep, but you are getting an 11.5 inch figure that is, like, this is this is heavy figure. The only hollow part is their body. Everything else is solid plastic. Um, so I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10 for value. Um, I mean, it would be that much cooler if they were $20 each, you know. But these are also exclusive, so that also brings up the price a little bit. They're only available at Toys R Us. Uh, I personally paid... Um, twenty dollars plus um, thirteen shipping for each of them to Canada so I managed to snag them for thirty three I guess total um, I'm not sure how much they're gonna be in Canada because they haven't popped up on Toys R Us .ca yet but um, it says they're coming soon so anyway uh, for final value I'm gonna give these guys I'm gonna say seven point five eight out of ten somewhere in there uh, decent figure, decent articulation, much nicer size, I think. Like, I, I prefer bigger figures, but um, I'm going to go with uh, with a 7.5 out of 10, just because that articulation is a bit limited, the paint isn't that great, and, uh, I mean, they are exclusive, so they are going to be a bit harder to find, right? Uh, your best bet is eBay right now. Um, like I said, but they're on there, they're selling for $40 each, so you could take down another star from there, 
be worth like I'd say if if you're paying forty dollars for these figures, I would drop the score down to six out of ten because I'm I don't know. There's no way I'd pay that much for these guys. But anyway, very cool figures. Uh, if you're if you love Ninja Turtles, these are definitely essential. Um, nice sculpts like the little guys, and they're they just very meaty, very much very heavy, very uh, much worth your value. So um, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you later.